dear students uh, this is our 22nd lecture on bioorganic chemistry and uh, continuing with coenzyme chemistry uh, today in this lecture we will discuss uh, about coenzyme pyridoxal phosphate uh, pyridoxal phosphate uh, is an active form of uh, vitamin b6 and uh, it also occurs in uh, in its amino form which is called as pyridoxamine phosphate and uh, in most of the enzymatic reactions the form which is useful that is plp pyridoxal phosphate which act which will act as coenzyme for different types of biosynthetic reaction and out of all these forms uh, pyridoxine where uh, both these groups they are ch2oh ch2oh pyridoxamine where one is uh, ch2 nh2 amino group other is ch2oh hydroxyl group and then third is pyridoxal where this part is aldehydic part not the amino part and this pyridoxal when this part is uh, phosphorylated this oh is phosphorylated then we will get pyridoxal phosphate that is plp and this is the most important structure which will act as coenzyme in different types of reactions uh, out of these all these forms uh, pyridoxine this form is the most stable form of the vitamin and this is used in food fortification and uh, this water soluble uh, and, uh, vitamin uh, is very sensitive to heat and uv light so uh, we need to protect it from uv light and this vitamin b6 <coughs> as i have told you consist of uh, three closely related compounds pyridoxal uh, where this part is aldehydic pyridoxine where this part is ch2oh so that means if i reduce this aldehyde this will give me pyridoxine or if i oxidize this part this will give me pyridoxine then uh, pyridoxamine where this oh will be replaced by nh2 so these uh, all these four forms they can be interconverted uh, very easily uh, in the biological systems uh, this pyridoxal phosphate act as coenzyme in transamination reactions decarboxylation reactions of amino acids uh, this also act as a coenzyme in interconversion of glycine and serine so glycine can be converted into serine or serine can be converted into glycine through uh, pyridoxal phosphate as the coenzyme then uh, this pyridoxal phosphate uh, is also used in transsulfuration reaction in uh, methionine uh, metabolism but out of all these reactions most common and best known they are transamination reactions of amino acids where an amino group of alpha amino acid is reversibly transferred to the carbon atom of an alpha keto acid so amino group from here will be transferred to alpha keto acid or amino group amino product formed from that can be reversibly transferred to the other part of that. so uh, all these reactions where pyridoxal phosphate act as coenzyme they are catalyzed by enzymes which are known as transaminases or amino transaminases and here uh, on these enzyme the pyridoxal phosphate is tightly bound and serves as a transient intermediate carrier of the amino group from its 
to owner that is alpha minus it then uh, pyridoxyamine phosphate is also required in the transport of amino acids and uh, some metallic ion across the cell membrane so these are all biochemical functions of plp so we can see these examples so this is the structure of PLP uh, with uh, metal ion acting as uh, cofactors. So this can undergo uh, transformation. Uh, first, this carbon ion is formed of the alpha amino acid. Will form a ship base with the coenzyme. This is coenzyme, this is alpha amino acid ship base, and then this carbon ion uh, will take up the hydride ion. The transamination reaction will take place like this. Then these intermediates they can undergo uh, different types of racemization reaction, beta elimination reaction, or decarboxylation reaction. So, decarboxylation this group is removed we will get this type of product through decarboxylation. In beta elimination reactions, so this is alpha position, this is beta position, so hydrogen from here is eliminated and we will get beta elimination products like this. Racemization is that alpha beta hydrogen transfer takes place and we will get racemized product. So this is how PLP acts in different types of racemization, beta elimination, and decarboxylation reactions. Thank you very much.